All right, y'all, out here tonight. Hopefully you can hear okay. I don't have a microphone on, uh, but I do have a flashlight at my face. But anyway, I'm getting ready to take some water to the cows. And uh, with the day going like it did, this is not ideal conditions. Uh, usually we use the Mass Ferguson tractor uh, to do this because it... Uh, will probably lift more weight on the uh, three-point here versus the John Deere, but I don't know that for a fact. But we're filling up the water tank right now. But the uh, Massive Ferguson, I haven't put the lights on it yet. Uh, that needs to get done. But anyway, I'm using the John Deere. And there you can see. I'm not sure if I'll be able to carry as much water this time as normal, but it also doesn't pick up just because it's a shorter tractor, shorter lift, and I can uh, move the arms here to that section there and, you know, gain some more height out of it, but I'm really not all that worried about it at the moment. Like I said, usually we use a Mass Ferguson for this, the reason I'm not is because it just uh, doesn't have the lights on it. I haven't got around to doing that. So I'm going to use this one tonight. Um, I'm going to bring a bucket with me just in case that won't reach the top of the tank. So I can take and fill the bucket up and pour it in the tank and uh, be able to get through tonight. But anyway, that uh, goes back to an important subject that you can't ever forget is having the right tool for the job anyway you can't never have too many tools you can't never have too much equipment uh, it does get to be expensive that again is why it has to be a lifestyle um, you know whether you you know have 10 chickens or a hundred uh, whether you have one cow or a hundred, you know, same same principle applies. Um, you can hobby farm for sure. Uh, that's probably more or less what I do. I'm not full-time farming or anything yet. But anyway, uh, the point being is either way, uh, the farming and homesteading and prepping has to be a lifestyle. It has to be incorporated into everything that you do. Uh, to make it work to make things uh, even out in the end so Like I said, I really enjoy this tractor uh, It's got a lot of capability has helped us out on a lot of things that we couldn't do with a Smaller tractor or a bigger tractor uh, Moving the hay out of that shed the other day was an example of how a bigger tractor couldn't do that particular job, but anyway like I said, it's pros and cons to everything. You can't pick one perfect tractor that suits all of your needs. But I think this one will cover the most uh, amount of needs that we can get out of one particular tractor. Because if we went with a, a bigger one that's able to pull all the hay equipment, everything, no trouble, then it's really too big for the garden, you know, getting in there and... Uh, but you can plow, disc, and till with, you know, 150 horsepower tractor if you want to. But getting in there and doing the cultivating and uh, making your rows and things like that, it has to be a, a relatively smaller size tractor. So that's what we went with it. With this, it's kind of a uh, not fits all, but fits most needs tractor. Again, with the older Master Ferguson, we can do a lot with that. I uh, just got the hydraulic control on there, so I can work on putting the loader for it on. And also, I can use it to run the round baler now. I hooked that up today, got that going, and made sure all that works. And, uh, you know, everything does as it's supposed to do. So now that tractor will uh, be even more useful to us. Now we have the uh, square baler to use, and we have the round baler, you know. And again, I could put the loader on there. I just don't have a bucket. It doesn't have a uh, quick detach and all that kind of stuff. But still, you know, 
everything has its purpose um, it's something to keep in mind a lot of things you can make work for other things but it's not what it's designed to do but you can still get by with it and but it's better when you can have uh, the perfect tool for the job that you're doing anyway I hope this is helpful I hope you all have been enjoying the uh, videos and I've been trying to make more here lately but still being as busy as we are it's been hard to uh, get them out and everything but appreciate everybody watching and following so stay prepped up prayed up and strapped up see you